Hey there folks, so um, I'm so excited, Blade is gonna, I'm leaving for Blade uh, next Friday the 31st, May 31st, it's about, it's about a, a week away, so I'm psyched, uh, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you see I've been showing you the floor plan, the, the booth charts, right, so I'm so psyched, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting these gents here, uh, Jason Browse, the boys from Night Thursday, Mike Birch, I gotta thank him for tweaking the, the, the my Birch, and uh, unfortunately Graham and Knives are not gonna be there. I was looking at meeting uh, Mike and Sue, but they're not gonna be able to make it, but uh, it's a lot of purveyors. I just wanted to show you, I geeked out, I downloaded the exhibitor table booth chart and map, <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys can relate. I'm just basically... I, I, you know, this is my first time going to Blade, so I heard this thing is like humongous. I think some guy described it to me. It's like walking into the biggest Home Depot you could find, and then there's just booths and tables all over the place. So I'm really excited. So I figure I'll start mapping it out. Uh, this is a good look at the chart of the of the floor plan. Uh, you can see that the maps are numbered. The bigger boxes are the booths, and I, from what I understand, these are the tables. So I got all excited because I'm looking, you know, and then they give you like a yellow pages of all the people, the, all the purveyors, all the knife makers that are going to be there. So I highlighted some of my, you know, looking to, forward to going to Blade HQ and meet Ben, uh, Jason Browse, of course. Let's see, Chris Reeve Knives. I want to see if, uh, if Chris Reeve is going to be there. Uh, Alan Leishowitz. Definitely want to check out his booth. Or table. I think he has a table. Does he have a table? Yeah, he's got. Oh no, he's got a booth. He's got a booth. Cool. So definitely want to enter that lottery. Um, well, it's got line steel knives. Medford definitely want to meet uh, Greg Medford. He looks like a funny bastard. He's like, uh, you know what he reminds me of? He's like the. If you guys are UFC guys, you know I'm a UFC guy. He's like the Dana White of uh, the knife industry. He just says what he. Says he don't care, he don't give a shit, he doesn't care if he pisses off people. He's like politically incorrect all the time. It's a funny guy, I definitely want to meet him. Uh, New, New Graham and I have picked up some stuff for them. Um, they, they seem pretty cool. Uh, Paul Force. I can't get any of these guys. They're knives I can't get anywhere, anywhere, unless you want to, you know, order from Europe. If you guys know someplace where you can get those knives, you know, let me know. Probably on USN. Uh, of course, Rick Kendra joined that lottery, without a doubt. Say hello to Rob Orlando and Rick again. Uh, I saw uh, Rob's post. Uh, they got, like, when I went to the East Coast Custom Knife Show and the New York uh, Custom Knife Show, they only had, I don't know, they didn't have that many knives. I'd say I'd say about 20, 20 per day. This one, they got, like, like 100-something. I forget the exact number, but they're going to have a lot. Uh, Jen Zanzo, I didn't get to check out any of his knives. Hopefully, he's there. I know he's going to hold a lottery. Uh, Vulcan Knives. What else? Strider. So I, I didn't get to, you know, I just highlighted quickly what I, I want to check out. And then uh, uh, definitely you want to see Butch Ball. You know, he's the guy that made the first uh, flipper for uh, Benchmade. Uh, what else we got here? Todd Begg, of course. Met them a few times already. What happened to the show? What happened? I think that was a mistake. I, I don't know if it's going to pick up, but they had two shows the same night and then, boom, disappeared. So, I don't know. The producers should rethink that. Stop going with this crazy cleaver and, you know, just show the beauty, I think. You guys tell me if you disagree or agree. They should just do the show the beauty of the knife-making process that made Todd Begg, Todd Begg's knives and his bodega what they are. Not these big, extravagant, big-ass cleaver with the... You know, it, 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 I think it gives the wrong impression that, they, they, you know, they just make these monster knives and, um, you know, and people probably say, that's medieval, you know. I think guys would, people would appreciate it more if they showed the beauty than the hard work that goes into the design of, like, the bodegas and his other knives, you know. I don't know. I'm ranting. Uh, definitely Mike Mike Birch, Birch Street Blade Works. I believe, I believe he's making some uh, knives. On, I follow him on Facebook, and I guess he's going to do a lottery for that. That would be sweet, get another birch, huh? Greedy! Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, Fel Holter, of course. Uh, John Grimsman, I want to meet the Grimsman boys, Eric and um, and John. I know they're going to have something. They might have uh, John. I, I, I talked to John, and he says he might have the... Um, he's uh, integral there. Sweet. What else? 
J. Kovac, of course. This might be my first visit. I want to get in there and see if I can get one, one of his uh, uh, Quaybacks. <laughs> I mean, I'm on the list, but, you know, how sweet would it be if I go to Atlanta and I can score one right there? That's uh, definitely Jeremy uh, Horton. And there's tons, guys. I mean, there's Crane. Not everybody's there. Kirby Lambert. Another maker. I want to see. So, what else? Is this is boring. R.J. Martin, I've seen him a few times. Uh, Scott Masuka from Hawaii. Uh, Thai Survival, definitely. Gotta check out Esteban's booth. Never met him, talked to him a few times, and uh, of course he picked a few things for me. Awesome. I wanna check out the Shurigarov table. I wanna check out, I never held the Shurigarov. Shurigarov, sorry. Definitely Brad Southern and Mikhail Williamson. I think that's really it. I mean, this, I didn't go through everything, but. Then I got all excited because I started, you know, writing down the numbers, right? And then in all my excitement, I'm figuring, oh, okay, I'm writing all, I'm, I'm assuming they're all tables. Nah, some are booths. So I just thought the numbers were kind of funny. And then uh, if you saw my Instagram, I removed it because I, I was wrong. I plotted it wrong. I thought all my favorites, like, were in one corner. You know? Grimsmo, Butch Ball, Birch, Tree, Southern, Beg, Mikel Williamson, Horton, Fellholter, Anzo, Hobart. I was like, what? They're all right here. I walk in the entrance and make a left. I'm there. But apparently those are all booths. They're in t most of them are in tables, so they'll be around this area. I think. I think. I got to redo this. But I'm so psyched. So, so psyched. So, um, yeah. Oh, looking forward to meeting some of you guys. Uh, look for me. I'm going to have uh, my bag because I'm a, I'm a little vain. Got my, you might have seen this on my... Uh, on my uh, Instagram. So uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, check me out on Instagram. So I'll have this uh, Max Edition. All right? All right, guys. Hope to see and meet a few of you guys there. I'm banging on my. I know uh, Meneve is going to be there, Tough Thumbs, and Sebo um, Strip, Sebastian, uh, Mike Gavko, uh, BK Dunn. So it's going to be a good time. And if, uh, if you guys bump into us, you know, we'll probably be together. Me and Nick will probably be together. But, uh, yeah, come up and say hello. All right, peace.